You look like Thomas the Train. Jigsaw. Hey, my Lana babies, and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Tori Lana, and today I'm coming with you about a story time about how I argue with a celebrity. Well, she's not even that. She's just another one of those well-known rappers, baby mama, who's always known for hopping from man to man, always being in beef. But, <laughs> but yeah, before I start this video, I just want to say thank you to my Lana's babe so much for you know, just supporting me and stuff. I know I've been gone for a while. I've just been busy, but we're back on track. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Like, come on, like you're watching. So, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and follow me on my social medias. It will be down below. Without further ado, let's get to this video. Okay, so let me start off this video saying that this video is not to bash her. It's just to tell my side of the story. Um, how you take it is how you take it. It's all facts. Like, I'm not lying or a name or whatever. So, um, the clown I'm talking about here is Ari. Um, Kyle's sister, she calls herself, you know, her brother's deceased. And she feels like she has to carry on his legacy by using his name. Ari. Ariana. Whatever, um... Tay's little minion, he does her hair, whatever, whatever. So let me start this video with giving you a little backstory, okay? So, I'm a Barb. Like, if you know me, you know I love Nicki Minaj. I'll always defend her, like, do whatever. I don't care if it's my cousin over here saying something about Nicki Minaj. I will eat you up by Nicki Minaj. Don't speak on her. In a bad way. So, you know, my girl's pregnant now, per. I'm about to be a big sister, you know, so no. But, okay, so she's pregnant and... You know, she's released a new song with Ferg and Made in Tokyo called Movie Hips. And she had to do a promo video and she had to get her hair done. So, you know, Tay, arrogant Tay, he does a lot of um, industry girls' hair. But, like, not as big as Nicki Minaj, but, like, local Instagram models, other rappers' baby mother's hair. He he does that. So, he started doing her hair a while ago. So, that's been her hairstylist ever since. And whatever, you know, that's Ari's best friend, um, whatever. So, a whole thing happened between them. I'm not going to go into depth about it because some of y'all probably already know. And it's on the blog, it's on the Shade Rooms Hall, on whatever it's for y'all to go see. Long story short, she told him the date to do her hair in advance. He canceled, he had to go get his a tooth pull, a tooth extraction with wisdom teeth, yeah. But she told him this day in advance, so he canceled. He went and sent her a wig overnight, so she went to another stylist, Jonathan. Their arrivals. Something just happened between them, I want to say, a week prior to this, so I guess he felt a way about her going to him. But it's like, you don't want her scout. She's grown. Like, I'm, I'm not understanding. He's talking about some loyalty. He does Dream Doll's hair, Carisha, and they diss Nicki Minaj heavily. But you don't hear Nicki saying anything. Try whatever. So, he get on the shade room. He go off on Nicki saying, I feel so betrayed. You know how many opportunities and blessings I turned down. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So, Miss Masika, she's also um the Instagram influencer. I think she was on Love and Hip Hop New York a couple times. She steps in and gives her two cents in, which basically defending Nicki Minaj, you know, saying, you know, Tay, you can't be mad because unless in your contract it says you're available at, at all times, you can't get mad at Nicki for going to someone else, which is true. I agreed. So, here we go. A lot of people, like a lot of hairstylists, other artists, are giving their input on this situation and it's not that deep it's just hair at the end of the day like it, it, it is it's just hair y'all acting like somebody was beefing somebody fought somebody went with somebody else's boyfriend baby mother it's, it's just it was literally just a wig it was just a hair appointment i didn't see the big hurrah in all of this tay just made it something that um he just made it into something that it shouldn't have been and it was a lot of um Twitter memes. If I can find them, I'll post them here saying he, um, because he did. He turned down tour. Nikki went on tour in Europe saying he, um, turned down the tour to go club hop with Ari. Um, 
saying he'd be canceling on Nicki Minaj to do Ari's hair for free. And all this, all these funny videos about how he canceled Nicki Minaj to do nobody's hair. And it was one um, tweet that stood out to me. Nicki Minaj is not a rapper's baby mother. She didn't get famous off of going from man to man. She didn't get famous off of beef. She made her name in 07 where you didn't have social media like this. Instagram was made in what, 2010? Twitter was made, what, after that? You couldn't get famous off social media until, I wanted to say, 2016. That's when they start having, like, all these influences and stuff. Before, you had to really go out and get it out the mud and get famous how you got it. So, yeah, it's just kind of like, she's she's a big A-list rapper. She's worth millions. Ari can only say she has one M in her account, which is from, I'll get to that later. But anyway, so Masika gave her two cents, and then Ari felt like she had to... I don't know, Defense, she said, um, she deleted all of this. Mind you, that's how scary she is. When I clapped back, I said something, she deleted the tweet she made to me. She deleted what she said in the first place, and she deleted all the, um, when she was going back and forth with people. So, I'll see if I can find it, and if it, if I do find it, it'll be up here somewhere. But if I can't, this is what she said. She said, Y'all bees are getting too mouthy, stand down. She said that about Masika. And one thing about Ari is... She's always doing all of this, but I, you never seen how much throw hands. She's always going up back and forth with other um, influencers, other artists about, you know, just dumb stuff, I guess. But she's always um, subtweeting and indirect um, saying stuff. And it's just like, I've never once seen you drop an ad, a mention. I've never seen you drop a name, a picture of somebody you was talking about. So it's it's like sis, at this point just stop. Like and I'm not the biggest fan of Masika. I don't even follow her. But it's just like she was speaking facts. She she was speaking facts. Already talking about some you getting too mouthy. Stand down. Mind you, mind you, she had beef with Alexis Sky. They had the same hosting at the club. She didn't do nothing. Alexa Scott was steady calling her out, telling her to come in. She was like, uh-uh. She's scary. She said all this stuff about um Alexa's daughter and all this stuff about that, you know, her due to her circumstances, she looks different from ev every other child. And I'm not saying she's ugly because I don't think that. I think every human is beautiful in their own way, but she pointed it out. And it's like, Ari, you look like Thomas the Train, Jigsaw, a, car a cartoon character. We're not about to get on you. And I'm not even about to go on her like I'm the baddest boy I am. But um, she just, I just don't understand why. She's always doing this, but always indirect. She never ever came to somebody, like, she like say she was coming from me. She never ever said, Tori this, Tori that. She said something indirect. So that was that. So she um said, you bees getting too mouthy, stand down. So... I replied back, it'll be right here. I said, she's talking about your son until she asks who she's talking about. Your son is her son. And, and that's what I said. Because it's just like you never want to put that ad button. So at this point, you're talking about your son. You're talking about your son. Your son is getting too mouthy and he has to stand down. You're talking about your son because why are you keep yada, 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 no at, no nothing. This who y'all ever present Chicago? Chicago. Chicago. Child. And the thing I know Chicago do a hard. They known for the senseless violence and the killings and all this stuff. You should be more bold if you come from Chicago. This who y'all ever present? Child. Anyways. So I said what I said. And she retweeted me. Talking about some, no, I was talking about your mother, which I thought was funny because I didn't know she was going to reply back to me. And a lot of people was coming for me saying, why you bring your son into this? Why you talking about your, your son? I didn't say anything about your son. I didn't say he was ugly. I didn't say he was retarded. I didn't say he was slow. I didn't say, I didn't say the things that I wanted to say. <laughs> All I just said was until she mentions a person, so she says a name, so she drops an at, she's talking about your son. Because are uh, you too like at your big age with your big body, you're too you're too old for this at this point. 
at, at this point. Either you're going to say who you're talking about or you're just going to shut up. So, yeah, I said um, she's talking about your son, which I didn't really say anything bad about your son. Saying a bad thing about somebody is making fun of their physical appearance, making fun of something that happened to him, just talking about him in any type of way. All I said was she was talking about your son or whatever. So, child, they all came for me. And uh, like all these random people, don't talk about my nephew. She don't know you, sis. Your son don't know you. But, you know, I just said LOL because I thought it was funny that she replied to me. I, it's just like some someone like that. It's just like, let's be honest. You've never seen her have like a brand or anything of her own. She's famous from being her baby mother and bouncing from man to man. It was somebody before her, then it was her, then it was Gervonta, then it was um, Money Bag Yo. And I find it I, I, just ironic that she was all up in Megan's um, comments and likes and all. Me she followed Megan to, for months later for her to go with Money Bag Yo. Okay. These girls be plotting on your man. But anyway, she's famous from all the guys she dates. Money bag snatched a wig off in public. That's embarrassing. Um, all the beefs. Alexis Sky. Um, G Herbo. Um, new girlfriend Tania. They had. They went into it one point in time. Who else? She like. She would just beef with a lot of people. And not like no big beef, cause you know it never led to fighting. Cause she's not about that life. To be Chicago, you think she will be up and on it, but she's not. And I understand. You know she has things going for her, but it's just like. If you're going to do this over and over and over again, just throw a punch. Like, you're too big for that. Child. And she gained some of fame from Tay doing her hair. You know, Tay, Tay gained a lot of fame for his hairstyle and stuff. And she was his model. They're best friends. But anyway, I just feel like. Tay was wrong. Masika said what she said. She wasn't disrespectful. She just said what she said. Talking about some, y'all getting too mouthy. Stand down. And what are you going to do, Thomas? What are you going to do, Jigsaw? Not a thing. Like you always do. Not a thing. But child, anyway. So, I gained a lot of followers over Twitter about this. Follow me on my Twitter. I probably have it right here. It's going to be down in the description box. And have a whole lot of replies, like, 795 people like my tweet, 150 people retweeted. And that's coming from someone who don't be on Twitter like that. Before this, I had, like, what, 100 followers. <laughs> I was not on Twitter like that. I just said what I had to say because she's always, but she never, and, and that's just that. And, yeah, so, I wake up from my nap or whatever. Or was I just laying down? I don't know. I was on Hollywood Unlock. It was like, I didn't expect it. But she should know. Keep that mouth shut, boo. And yeah, I woke up this morning. She deleted all of it. Um, she deleted the first tweet about the stand down, which is about Masika. She deleted what she retweeted to me. She deleted, and she just went back and forth with a couple people. She deleted that, so proves once again she's scary um yeah and that's really the end of the story okay so that concludes this video thank you guys so much for watching and if you feel some type of way comment down below put your input in this video was i wrong was i right i was right but whatever um if you still have not subscribed yet please do so and give this video a thumbs up like right now like just click it and comment down some more videos y'all want to see me do. Stay tuned for my next video. Bye.